Hi, Cancer. Welcome back to my channel. Tis I, the one only archer with Archer Astrology. How are ya? Cancer, it's time to do your love energy check-in for you and the one on your mind for October of 2023, or whenever you click on my reading and decided to come and hang out with me, which I do love and appreciate very much. If you could return the love and love the like down here for me and help get us out into the algorithm, I would appreciate it. Also, subscribe and set the bell to all notifications. I go live every Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern for an all signs from Aries to Pisces, plus a card for each sign. All right, and then also mark your calendars for a special event on Saturday, November 11th at 12 noon, where I will be going live for a collab with J-Dub live in the studio. We're going to do an all signs. We're going to talk houses and placements. We're going to do some live music with Bill over here. He's a Gemini. He's cool. All right, it, we're going to have a contest, a couple tarot decks, and a clock to give away. It's going to be an, a multi-evening event. The main event is Saturday, November 11th at 12 noon. And check out the Wednesday Night Lives following up to it for everything. All right, all the details are in the community section. Also, you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Archer Astrology. Feel free to page of swords throughout the channel. Check out my healing music with some bass covers with Bill over here. And also some pick a card readings for my decks pick you and all of your weeklies monthlies and lives neatly prioritized and organized into playlists for your viewing enjoyment i appreciate you very much for being here and taking time with me all right cancer we're going to take a look at the end of october heading towards november see the energies for you the one on your mind the thoughts feelings and energies around you guys as we enter into scorpio season a few planets moving into Scorpio season, and one final eclipse, a full moon in Taurus eclipse happening on the 28th. All right, and then we have Halloween, which is basically Ghost Day. That's like how the veterans get Veterans Day in America. Um, yeah, Ghost Get Ghost Day. It's Halloween, and we get candy. It's cool. All right, so let's take a look at the energies. We're going to use the Todd deck here for your nine-card spread with a tenth-card final outcome at the bottom, and then, like, throw a billion clarifiers at it with the Crow deck, Okay. All right, Cancer. Let's do it, Cancer. Here we go. For Cancer and the one on their mind. Let's go for it, Cancer. Here we go. There we go. All right, let's go. All right, Cancer. What do we have for Cancer? October 2023. What do we have for Cancer? Let's go. All right, Cancer. Two shuffles. Whoa, I didn't even get the count yet. Let's see. Two of Cups serendipities that play behind the scenes and there's a meetup coming with a tower at the bottom all right something divinely guided big time let's do it let's try it again here we go cancer all right two shuffles the high priestess oh my gosh there's a lot going on behind the scenes we're going to find out about cancer virgo energy there all right take three here we go we don't edit this stuff all right one Ooh, deck's still trying to do it and two let's love this deck for the crazy cool cancerians here we go all right the bottom of the deck is the page of pentacles so it's young immature but kind of a uh, more innocent than the ugh, immature it's the coolness right coming at you little taurian energy at the bottom of the deck this is young stable and happening in the 3d and it's something you dreamt about with the four of swords to the page and the six of cups with the six of wands underneath that six six right out of the gate as we look into the energies under your final outcome the page of pentacles and that's a little victory right there showing up six of wands all right galen petty could be a cancer it would make sense she is awful loving six of wands is victory that's her giving all of her songs on stage to like a beatles freaking shea stadium 50 thousand people all right it's a victory underneath all of it okay and with that four of swords and we've only dreamt about let's see where we go all right starting out your present position is the lovers gemini energy um and a choice being made and sticking to it too you've you've been feeling stuck a lot lately and getting to a point of wanting to make a choice that the energy is all around you gemini energy all right Going forward from there, we have your immediate influence, which is a five of wands, Leo energy, um, showing some kind of like a competitive sporting nature. Now, I know the common um, energy off of this is the strife and the struggles. It's also about teamwork making the dream work, too, when you can come together at some kind of a mutual terms. And yellow could be a color that's actually standing out or significant to you um, in the week ahead, Cancer. That takes us towards your goal or destiny, which is the seven of pentacles. 
working on something that's going to go long term. You're thinking more of a long term investment here. Um, and I'm also seeing that if it makes if it makes sense to you, Cancer, you're on the mind of the one on your mind. So we'll find out about that more. Um, as we look into the back side a little bit in the distant past, going way, way back, we have the Ace of Swords. Um, something here that was that last fight that the words that cut out a situation here. Um, meeting at a time where you guys had given up on love, really. And it was more about just the talk. There wasn't like a lot of real love behind it. But when you first met, that was an Ace of Swords catalyst moment. All right, getting a little more recent, coming a little more current, we have the Queen of Cups. Um, this in the recent past would be more of a, an emotion where um, one or the both of y'all came to um, like an awakening or a moment where you realize there was an unconditional love here. So this could be happening during a time of separation at this moment here. What that will lead us towards the future influence that's going to affect all this. And we have the moon. Another card of some, some like secrets and keeping things quiet, working behind the scenes. Pisces, Cancer energy. Um, the 28th could be a pivotal point too. that full moon eclipse happening as well. So that's um, that's a lot of things coming to light in the eclipse season as we head towards Scorpio. So I'm pulling heavy water off of this. All three signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Very grateful. All right, going forward, your incoming energy is more Scorpio energy. Seven of Cups. Um, some options or feeling like you've taken too long to get to, to where you needed to be. And the, the like multiple choices coming your way, even though one's going to always stand out above the rest to you. OK, um, getting a little more current with the environmental factors. We have the seven of swords, seven, seven shows up as well as the six, six showing up. So I could be talking to a July 7th Cancerian here. Um, the environmental factors are going to be a lot of incoming um, energy of all kinds, kind of like feeling like your shell is under attack cancer um but with that new moon energy it's almost like you predicted or saw it coming and your chariot like has an electrical emp vulse pipe that that picked it up and then like like just bounced right off your freaking hood like the chariot's got a, like a molecular bonded shell right and like freaking ak-47 bullets can go right up the thing and it just like raindrops just flies right off it doesn't even scratch a paint job so you're trying to keep it real with a lot of energies and a lot of options all eyes are really on you right now environmental factors and incoming energies scorpio and aquarius that takes us towards your inner emotions which is justice and libra energy where you um the the outcome the inner emotions are actually using your head and your heart chakras together which is like the meaning of the scales being balanced in that place and energy strong libra off of that fellow cardinal energy too you are a cardinal sign cancer okay so that's a lot of communication from the cardinal signs as opposed to the fixed and the mutable energies but um the current dominating factors the energies that are that are in play at the moment we have gemini we have Leo, we have Cancer and Pisces, um, strong Cancer, strong Gemini, Scorpio and Aquarius, strong Libra, as well as Taurus. And um, that's all I got at the moment. But let's find out because now we're going to clarify. We're going to go all Snoop Dogg down on this. Okay. Your outcome is still a page of Pentacles. Oh, I tipped the board in my chair. That was interesting. Kind of like Spirit was like, here, lean in. I don't wear my glasses during readings. Okay. Give me clarifiers on the lovers. The Five of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles, por favor, in English, please. Here we go. Very great. Thank you. All right. Give me some shuffles on that. What about the boundaries here? Okay, cool. Thank you. So grateful. The sun. Leo energy here. The choice to be happy regardless of the energies around you. It's it's like you've, you, you, you've been lately feeling like you're stuck in a repetitive cycle where like you continuously get tested in love every time you you every time you've opened your heart in the past it like has you at a point of being sick and tired of being sick and tired and you just want the sun seven of cups that's three seven 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 shows up here um see all now this one whereas this one has the moss growing over the cups from taking too long to make a decision and having multiple choices this one has all the chakras being depicted in all those cups as the energies all stabilize. All of your chakras are responding. You're getting a lot more intuitive downloads currently right now. Um, still deep down, Ace of Pentacles, still deep down you believe there was something different about this person. There was something just new, unique, that, that you saw had potential here. You like They opened your eyes to setting new boundaries, Five of Wands, and... Um, like you didn't even know you had these boundaries seven of Pentacles like I see you putting these boundaries in place more now than than ever before 
Knight of Wands, to the King of Cups, to the Magician. Gemigo energy along with Pisces and Sagittarius. And the eclipses are affecting this, this connection. I've got the sun and the new moon showing up on these two cards that I can't get off the table, but I did. Um, yeah, that, sh that shows um, like, like the sun and the moon cycles eclipsing out a lot of old mindsets. And you're creating from this. You could even be uh, a manifesting generator or a life path number seven. Actually, now that I look at it, I see we have four sevens already out because the seven of pentacles is up here. So you've got everything but the seven of wands so far to hit four sevens. But two seven of cups are already showing up in the energy. So the energy in the clarifiers is your incoming energy, which is the seventh position in my in my spread. Okay, so the seven is a strong point here on this. Okay, a lot of sevens coming out all of a sudden. All right, give me some more on this here, if you don't mind, please here, because that magician energy, like, look at hold on, come here, look at how the the, the bird is getting ready to fly forward. Like, I see you broadening your horizons this week. And I see your gifts maturing more here. Maybe like a uh, cancer that's feeling like more headaches lately or tingling in, in the top of your head. Crown chakra, wasp nut. Six of swords. You're reflecting back on something though about this. You're wanting to turn the boat around. Um, like while your gifts maturing, it's allowing your crown chakra to energize. And you had to toughen up each time you learn these lessons. Six of swords to the queen of swords. See, come at me, bro. Told you, sick and tired of being sick and tired. Gemini energy. It's like you've learned this kind of lesson from the growing pains that you've gone through, right? Give me some more. Like you've learned some more on that here. It's like it's kind of like when as a crab grows and they mature and they expand. They grow a new shell as inside the old shell until the, the, the new shell expands as they grow enough to crack the old shell away and then they go on with the new shell. So it's it's like a new, more mature energy, like a tougher shell. All right, so you're probably feeling and noticing with that Six of Swords, tests, a lot more tests coming in a lot this week. And like wondering like what they all mean. What are they all about? The Nine of Cups to the Eight of Pentacles. Spirit is testing the energies here to make sure that you're ready to receive this happiness. Pisces, Virgo energy. Wait, hold on, I got to count again. I called that Pisces and Virgo. Yeah, I got it right. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, I had to count. I'm really having a rough time with Roman numerals lately for some reason. Um, but what it is, is these new feelings, these new downloads that you're asking all about, it's it's what they're manifesting, okay, Cancer? It's, it's, it's like where you two come together to learn a lot from each other here. If it makes sense, like I was saying here, how you're on the mind of the one on your mind, it's kind of like they're manifesting these changes you guys might work together or you've got a connection that goes beyond the 3d level with this here it's kind of like you're the manifestee and they're the manifester ace of wands and they're liking what they see and i left this break here from that at the six of pentacles okay so with that here it's like you're on the mind of the one on your mind it's what's initiating these changes into you like you're both changing in order to match each other on the same energetical frequency. Thank you, Spirit. So grateful. Thank you. All right. So let's go into the past here. Because right now, maybe you guys do actually work together. Or you share a connection or a bond or a hobby on this one here. Um, and I see something about keys. Maybe you've recently lost your keys or you just found the keys. And you're like, it's always the last place you look. And it's like, well, yeah, it's because that's when you stop looking because you found the keys. But, you know, it's about your car keys. Um, all right. Going backwards into the distant past here. Let's see. Give me something on that Ace of Swords. And um, let's blend it into onto the Queen of Cups towards the Moon card so we can see how this comes from this position here in the past to the forward. Ten of, Ten of Swords, message received. Got you, Gemini energy, to the Queen of Cups. Whoa, Cancer. See how I just asked artistic, like, like blend the energy to, across the Queen of Cups to the Moon card. And under the Ten of Swords, as I'm saying, message received is the Queen of Cups. It's on both sides of this. That's like an unconditional love as both the decks are seeking. I told you there's something how you guys are doing this together. You might be even be experiencing ringing in the ears more. It's possible. And that was actually 11 swords. This reading is going to 11 with two of swords. Wow, this is strong energy. I mentioned strong Libra energy. Two of swords to the king of wands, Aries. You both met at a very dark time in your lives, Cancer, where like you both had kind of given up on love. Something shattered both of your views on love, like, like a lot here, like a bad breakup, King of Swords to the King of Wands, see matching King energy here. It, it, it is very possible that it could even have been 
the, the, the loss and transition of a loved one during the connection, Taurus, Sagittarius energy. If so, my condolences to you both in this case. Um, it's why you guys were guided towards each other here, two of sorts. It's, it's, it's because you guys were guided towards each other to discover real love. That's you. That's the chariot. Cancer energy. Another seven on the table. That ten of swords is still down there. On to the moon card. There is a connection. Could even be an age difference between the two of you guys. And yeah, yeah, you both understand what I'm talking about. Um, because you both experienced the same exact things before you met each other. Seven of Cups. You were always, you both were always the option. Never felt real love. But yet you both deserved it. You both earned it. Gemini. Cancer energy. Aries. Sagittarius. Leo energy. Aquarius. And Libra. Pisces, if I didn't mention it. All right. Give me some more on that, please. Very grateful, Spirit. Thank you. Chariot to the Moon card. Queen of Pentacles. All the wins and all the losses in your life happened and are happening as part of this continued journey. It's, it's just time for a new chapter. You both were looking for a good time, not a long time at the time. Five of Cups, see? You were so heartbroken over love. Both of you guys were that you were just you were just looking for a good time. Neither of you wanted commitment. You both were afraid of it. Uh, there could be an age difference between you guys as well too. But with that, I'm I'm seeing like there was there was like a difference in spiritual maturity at the time. Whenever you met, spirit knew this. Spirit knew you guys were both closed off to love because they knew what you had been through beforehand. Spirit knew all of this. Five of Cups. You know, you felt like you guys had missed the boat. Love wasn't there. And, and just, you know, let's focus on, on making some money, doing what we got to do, something about the car, and, and just go for it, right, on the moon, you know? And that's why, much like how this here all has a larger, like a like the chariot's windshield has a larger windshield and a small mirror. That was where it goes into the moon, and, it's, and it comes to the energy of putting that part of your past into the past. Um, this connection, yeah, with the tower, the tower's at the bottom of the deck. This connection had to be put on hold. It had to be put in a Ziploc. Yellow and blue make green seal all of it. And and then put on ice while you both went off and discovered discovered your paths, had your journeys, um, which is what leads you to your door, like the Beatles' long and winding road. You know, um, it, it's what leads you to this in each lifetime. You guys meet in each lifetime. All right, let's see what we got. Give me more on this going forward here. It's like you're both really nervous to reach out too, right? Seven of Cups to the Seven of Swords. You're both really nervous to reach out. But something, um, because of like what it was involved here, something that was involved with the breakup, you both fear a lot of repercussions from something. Seven of Cups, Queen of Wands, but the third time's the charm. Leo energy. This is in my Titanic deck, the Violet Jessup card. And she was the stewardess nurse that survived the an accident on all she was on all three of the the olympic class ships it works like a cruise line where there's like multiple ships you know and she was on the first ship the olympic and it got t-boned as it was leaving port one day she survived she got on the titanic she was on it when it got involved in a little fender bender that she might have heard of once or twice she survived it that boat will not stay at the bottom of the atlantic that old boat that old boat anyhow she survived it came into port hopped on the next one the britannic it became a military hospital ship and got lusitania off the kia in 1916 she survived it now first of all i wouldn't get on a boat with that woman but still she probably had a really great life because she lived and passed away at an old age in the 1970s like 60 years after all those events in her life and was happy the third time's a charm because you guys have done this in each lifetime this is part of your journey this is just the one where it's coming together queen of cups queen of cups queen of cups it's unconditional love and you both see and know it <laughs> But yet you're nervous to reach out here. You may fear like friends and family and a lot of things that just close you guys off to going forward. Page of Swords. But you watch each other. Even if it's just in your dreams or intuitively or flat out they're watching you online. You know, something about watching online. Um, it's, it's, it's still there. And you, like Spirit is continuing to override the, the feelings and maybe possibly even having to Page of Swords put a few things into both of your paths to signal that union's approaching, union is here. All right, grateful, thank you. And I'm also seeing the number 516, either angel number 516 or May 16th might resonate to somebody, possibly. Also March 12th, all right? Or March 21st, possibly. 
Thank you, Spirit. Very grateful. All right, let's see. Spirit, yeah, Spirit is going to place some serendipitous situation into your path. It's going to help you both. It's going to help you both. Because this connection is still going strong. Seven of Swords to the friggin' Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Wands is the only seven missing, and the Ten of Cups is back at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is like you're still attracting each other so much. Seven of Pentacles to that Seven of Pentacles up here. There's sevens all over this place. That number's got to be following you around, Cancer. Spirit's sitting here going, I'll help. I'll help. There's a lot of incoming energy all around you, and it's going to start moving fast. And, and you're both, you're both going to feel it at the same time. I have the Hurricane energy, the Hermit, Virgo energy. You're both feeling it. It's internal. It's a connection you can't break right on that one here beautiful thank you spirit so grateful um and that even ties over to this magician and the lover's card that started everything off gemini virgo energy so what i'm seeing here is like you're going to be involved you're going to be involved with someone internally that like you're going to be invited somewhere give me more on that because you just stopped me knight of pentacles something you can trust something you can trust and granted most people look at this as as, as elmer's I don't look at it as Elmer's the horse that's moving so slow it should have been sent off to the glue factory. Nope, not a chance. This is the U.S. Postal Service because that bird's got the pentacle there. And that even looks like the, the old postal or the eagle logo for post office. But, you know, neither rain or sleet nor snow will keep this connection from getting to its destination and to its point. Temperance at the bottom of the deck. Sagittarius energy. Strong Sagittarius energy, too, on the, off of this here coming through the deck. It's kind of like they will... They will serendipitously appear into the situation. You both will be invited to the same place, same time. I'm told you should go because its spirit is putting it together. Temperance to the Nine of Swords, to the Ace of Swords. This is connecting to the Ace of Swords down here, Cancer, and the Five of Pentacles here. The key getting placed in the door for the silence to end with the Ace of Friggin' Cups. That's your energy, too. That's you. Strong Sagittarius, Cancer energy, Virgo. Leo, Taurus, Cancer, and Libra. Scorpio and Gemini, too. All right, so let's see what's going on with that. Give me some more on that. So grateful, Spirit. Appreciate you here. It's kind of like Spirit has been working behind the scenes and putting this all together. It's like like the freaking Philharmonic Orchestra on this one here. Even all the way back to your meeting, the situations before you, Eight of Wands, more Sag energy, told you strong Sag, and that card of distance and communication. Just like the distance between you guys, you guys still speak to each other in your dreams. On a 5D level, y'all are together. The 3D energy is catching up to the 5D energy here. This is like something here that sparked everything, sparked all this here. Like, like if you were in the same place at the same time, you met at the same point in the same cycles. And then you came together into a new mind to rewrite it. You're literally following the course of your destinies in this one here. And I'm seeing something about business mixed with pleasure. Chariot, hermit energy, something... Go, go with your bad self, Kansa, right? Okay. So it's like, that's the type of shiznit that only exists in like high level freaking commitments. Power couple vibes. Seven of cups to the knight of swords. Right there. See, all the chakras came back around. There's a heavy sevens on this one. Along with Goose and Maverick flying in for that one last freaking flyby. Doing the freaking course in dive bombing out. Well, actually, that would be Rooster, but Goose was there. That's the energy. They're always by your side, Cancer. Running the course in 221, up and out, and you're outdoor. 221 could also be a number that resonates to somebody, or even spin, rip, spin, rip, flip it, and reverse it to 122. But yeah, running the course and still having time to fly by that freaking tower. Lover's card with that energy as the decks lock up on this one here. And freaking fly by and watch out did is there a cancer spill coffee on a shirt recently or something because that's part of that part of the movie too and i keep seeing it that's dude that's adorable spirit so grateful but adorable yeah danger zone lover's card the uh this choice is divinely guided on both of your all's path because right underneath that we got the freaking ten of cups and jack and rose on the door with the four of pentacles not letting go you guys are connected here it's total power couple vibes and like in a new age way of doing things whoa i just laid it down on the table that means intuitively that's where we're going leave it okay that's fine like oh dude maybe y'all are buying like like getting into like a, like buying a dispensary or nine of them six of them virgo energy sixth house maybe like like st like starting a podcast or a youtube channel freaking seven of wands there it is no kidding underneath the four of pentacles is where the seven of wands was hanging out taurus leo energy and like 
a podcast or a YouTube channel, and you guys are protected in here, maybe even real estate or investing, fourth house energy. Uh, one of you, one of y'all is, is like the baker, one of y'all is the chef. Ooh, like a nutritionist type channel or something, or holistic healing vibes too. Yeah, Virgo energy and more sevens than than I even know what to do with here, because there's the Emperor Aries to the Three of Pentacles, and there's the freaking Four of Swords that we were talking about with the dreams here. Um, yeah, your lives are going to be the things that both y'all have dreamed of, and freaking Six of Cups. Yeah, this is a deep connection here. It's 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 a fantasy land that does exist. Nice. Um, this you guys will not be broke, won't be loveless, and definitely will not be boring. Yo, za. Nice. Um, Cancer, um, you have got Gemini, strong Sagittarius, Leo is here, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, if I didn't mention it, um, and Pisces as well, too. Aries, Emperor Energy, Aries too. So yeah, this is this is some strong stuff and heavy sevens as well. All right. Um, if this resonated, Cancer, I appreciate you very much. Love that like for me and leave a comment down below. Tell me how it resonated, what's going on. Sometimes it takes me a while to, to, to get to all the comments and respond, but I do, and I do read all of them, and I love and appreciate you for them. Um, and remember, this will resonate to any and all placements of Cancer within your chart because we are not just our Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but all the parts of all our charts. And we are FHA compliant here at Archer Astrology, so we will read for any sign or placement which desires and inquires. And if you'd like to inquire about a personal reading with me, you can email me at archerastrology at gmail.com. You can also follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Archer Astrology. I'm like everywhere. And check out the channel. Check out the playlists. Everything is down below. I go live every Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. And there is a special live collab on November 11th, Saturday at 12 noon Eastern. So set your calendars, set the bell, subscribe, and be there. Lots in store for you, Cancer. Until next time, Cancer. I love and appreciate you very, very much and very grateful for the messages today. Thank you, Spirit. Namaste. Grateful. Until next time, peace out, Archer out. Yeah, cheerio. Love you.